All right, everybody, we back at the channel. I want y'all to see the setup. I did a little short, well, it was like a little short clip called Just Yelling. And this is some of the behind the scenes of how I set that up. Do a little quick overview. So I got a Natalite set up right here. That's just to get some light on my face. If you see up here, we have these two lights. I'm not gonna start to go into all of the details. I just want y'all to see. I got the Black Magic 6K Pro set up here and basically shot all of this stuff by myself. I just got up in here, did the face, changed lenses up, did a wider shot. The wider shot was just me. It was basically back turn, turn, look, start the yelling. Everything is on a static shot on the green screen, and that is basically how I did the first setup. After this, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of how I set it up in Unreal Engine, After Effects, Basically how I got the whole little shenanigans. So we are back. What I wanna do is it's not make this video too long. Um, just letting you know that I am recording from my phone and you see I have a screen recording coming up. I didn't wanna set up my other camera. So I'm just trying to give you a basically a little breakdown of how I set up making that um, just yelling in the rain little short uh, clip. So before we, you know, when we look at this right here in Unreal Engine, Basically, we need to bring that video in here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna bring this up. I'm not gonna basically teach you how to go through and do uh, keying out and green screening. You can, there's videos for that. Basically what I'm gonna let you know is what I did was I had my video I shot in my office slash studio, just me. So you got me standing there, I'm doing my little back pose and stuff till I turn around and do my little yell. Uh, ah, wake up the neighbors, all that kind of good stuff, right? So we have this, I'm gonna key that out. So now that I have everything keyed out, you can go clean up, do what you need to do, make sure it's working for you. Then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna basically render this out as, hold up, let's get that done. We're gonna render this thing out as a, um, basically a PNG sequence. And reasons why we're doing that, because we're gonna be doing RGB and alpha, but we want an alpha channel. Cause basically when you export it out this way, you'll be able to bring in the video into Unreal Engine and it'll already be keyed out. So you don't even have to worry about trying to go through and learn Unreal Engine keying out things. You can just bring it in, full alpha channel already in there and you're set. So I got that as far as the PNG sequence. Don't worry, it's other ways to do this. I'm just showing you what I used on this. I was trying something different. So now we have that, right? We see that good old handsome face there. Oh damn, he's looking at me again. So now you got this. We're in Unreal Engine. We have this up here. But let's get out of this. See that? It's just a video. I just set up the camera the way I wanted to make sure that I can block that off. That's my close up. But we're not going to be using this. So we're going to close this bad boy out. You can see all of these little things that I added in here for my beams. Let's just close all of that. Right, we'll close that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I brought all of this stuff in here. Let's do it right here. You see the robots I got set up all of that goodness so first we're going to bring in that video i just exported out in after effects so we can go to medium we're going to go to image media source so we're going to bring that one in i'm just going to call it ed test one so we'll bring that in we double click on it it's on my second screen so i'm gonna drag that over here so y'all can see it we go over to our sequence path this is just locating where we're going to get that image at we're going to grab it up from right here See, this is my PNGs, I shot in 6K, and we, all we gotta do is click on one, hit open, we can bring that in there. We got advanced, if we shot this in 24 frames a second, we can put that in here, we save that. Now we have our image sequence, our media source in here, one of our assets. Now we need a, something to play that on, so we're gonna go back into media. We're gonna go to media player. We're gonna grab up media player, we're gonna check that output media texture asset we check that in there we'll leave that the same it'll give us all of this goodness now that we have this here we need to start bringing it into our world in unreal engine so to do that we're going to go up here to our shapes and we're going to bring in a plane we want to put that video basically on something so we're going to bring this up right here you can just see what i'm going to do first i'm just going to rotate this let's take this up about 90 degrees we're gonna rotate that over here facing me all right let's just have it like this for now 
So we have this plane. And as we can see, with being on a plane, if we have a video, sometimes videos are 16 by nine. So we're gonna go over here into the scale and I'm gonna take that off. I'm just gonna change this up and we're gonna put 1.6 there and we'll change this to 0.9. So now we got our uh, plane basically set up. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. And I got the rain and everything on here. So we got a 16 by nine. Now, so what we're gonna do from there we're gonna grab up um, this new media player. We're gonna put that on here, just that texture. We got this stuff, everything's been added. Now we wanna be able to create um, a new, basically a level sequencer. So if I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna do this just because I know how Unreal Engine is. I like to save these things every now and then. You probably wanna do that as well. Make sure you save when you work. That's just side note, because you never know what things are. They can just crash on you out of nowhere. So what I'm going to do is now we're going to go over here. We're going to add level sequence here. I'm going to bring that. I'm just going to call it new level sequence. We're going to call this add test one. All right. Let's say save that. Now we have our new level sequence in here. I'm going to change that bad boy to 24. We're going to go over here to track. We're going to go to media track. We added that media track in there. We're going to go to media, media source. And then we're gonna look. So we got add test one. That's what I just did as far as what I imported. So now we have this. What I do is you're gonna spread this out because depending on the size of your thing, let's just say I change this to 50. We're gonna open this up. This is basically our good little bit of um thing. I think this is like a 15 or 20 second thing. Let's just, I'm just bringing it in just to see. All right, so we know it's somewhere around there. I'm just bringing that in there. All right, so now that we have this here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on this, go to properties, we're gonna change this bad boy, and we're gonna add new player video texture. Now you see when I added that in there, we got our video right there. It looked like it's rotated the wrong way though. So let's click on here and just rotate this bad boy over. Do a full 180. All right, so now we have this. Um, what we can do is um, just to really get things dialed in, I'm gonna bring another camera in just to, so we got a cinematic camera, actor one. So let's change it to that perspective. So now, let me see, you got my old video right there. But let's look right here. We know that we back up here. There we go. So we got the video. You can see how it looks. We can aim. So if we wanted to, we can be able to scale this bad boy up a little bit too. If we lock that on, see I hit that lock, we can scale it to what you want it to be. And you can drop them down in the grass. You see, I'm just got socks on and shit. So life, you know what I mean? Shooting videos. So I'm just dropping them down. I don't want them on top of this robot, dude. Let's move them over. Drop down. All right, y'all kind of getting the, the picture of what I'm saying. So then all you want to do is, I'm just going to scale this up to make them look like he at least is on somewhat par with these, with these things. All right, now, as far as this plane goes, that right there can let me know if we need to rotate. You can just line it up however you need it to be. You see that's the scale, go right there. Now, if we actually let this play, you got something happening. You got me there. I'm blended in now in this world. You can do whatever you need to do. You can adjust just to make things happen. You know, all of that goodness. But that's a, a, a quick little overview. You can set your camera up. If you wanted to, you can even bring in a light. Let's say you bring in a point light. I'm gonna move this bad boy over, come up here. As if you see, with lighting in here, you're gonna actually light this as well. So you can do some adjustments if you wanted to have them lit a little bit. Let's take this down to two. Now we are lit. So that's a way, if you wanted to, you can even change and kind of work if you wanted to blend it in more with the environment.
that you can add lights and do all of these things when you're playing it back you can go through and render make your things happen like i said i ain't gonna try to make this video too long i think we already went over a lot of time but this is basically how i looked into just blending and bringing this character in there to make that um just yelling in the rain you know I mean and if we go back you know I mean i'm not gonna even save this one but you have that there but let's say if we go back like this to our sequencers let's go back take this up to content so we go back to all right just in the rain we'll put this camera that i built up this one Oh, I got rain on my face. How did I get that? Because it's raining in here and it's not actually, this is a video. So, so that's how I got my face. Like I was in the rain. This is, this is my daughter's uh, spray bottle for her hair when she getting all set up and getting party like, but I just did that, sprayed it on my face, made it happen. Now you got water on your face. All right, y'all. So now y'all got a little quick brief understanding um, once you're ready with this stuff, you can just go through and export. I'm not going to go through all of that stuff unless y'all need a tutorial on how to export. But ultimately, this is basically how I came up with these and basically two shots for me, adding things in rain, try to make it um, feel like I'm fully actually a part of that, trying to light it for whatever the cause was. It's other ways to do this. I'm not saying that this is the best way, but this is another way that if you wanted to go through and implement bringing your character or you or whoever you're filming on green screen into Unreal Engine, how you can be able to do that and um, make something happen. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you. I would say all of that whole comment, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. If you do, you do. If you don't, I understand. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. So other than that, I'm out there. Stay grinding, stay creating, and, um, you know, do good shit.